Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Case Place. So I have a small haul for you guys. I picked up a couple things from Amazon. I got in one item out of a uh, not too, too big order from AliExpress that I'm excited to show you guys because I think it turned out really cute. And I also got some things at Tuesday morning and the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. I'll show you what I picked up. So from the Dollar Tree, I found, they had some new stickers that I hadn't seen, but then again, I haven't been looking because I've got some stickers down there that I don't tend to use a whole lot, but I thought these were super, super pretty, so I went ahead and picked up a package of each one of them. And they were these 10-piece pop-up butterflies. I thought those were so pretty. Then I found these nine piece dragonflies with flowers and they are so cute. So pick those up. Then I found this confetti with the summer stuff and it's got palm trees and toucans and then just a purple and like teal blue mix. And then it's got orange pineapples and like a fuchsia colored flower. The pineapples are really textured. They're really neat. I just thought maybe if I was making something real summery that it might. Mm, there's an awful layer tonight. There you go. There you can see. They're just so bright. I think that's it. That's what those look like. There was another set that I just wasn't as interested in. The other thing I'm sure everybody and their brother has seen, and I picked these up, oh, I picked these up to put some pens in and I, around my craft area. And these are the Crafter Square retractable holders. So, I've seen them. I just haven't seen them anywhere near me. And, let's see, sorry about all that crinkling. So, Apparently it just turns like so, and it will extend to a full length of 14 and a half inches long, or it comes completely off, and that's how you open it. So, then you just thread it back together, and it screws back on. I just thought it'd be nice to hold some pens in, or whatever else I might need to hold, and it will hang from a... I've got a little cabinet over here that can hang from the little drawer full. So I did pick up two of those. Um, I picked up a couple things from, I'm going to save the online stuff for last. I picked up a couple things from Tuesday morning. I picked up a set of pearlized watercolors for $4.99. There's 29 watercolors in here. I do have another set of watercolors that are in my cabinet that I play with every once in a while and kind of practice with. I'm definitely not as good with them as some people are, so I usually tend to stick to my old faithful and use my my markers or my pencils, but I'm working at it. But I love these pearlized colors. I thought they were so pretty and pastel, so I picked those up. Then I did find two dies. I found two Spellbinders dies. These were $11.99 a piece. This one says Best Wishes, and it's kind of has an it's an oval and then it's got two pieces that go with it it's a four piece die all together and this is what she looks like and then that's the card example that they used on the back if you can see that so then I found these I was I really like these and these are heavy <clears throat> They're called Elegant Foil Seals, and there's four plates and one template frame. So it actually has five pieces all together. And these are, they're called Elegant Foil Seals. They are so pretty. This one says thank you. That's a fleur de lis. This one down here is just a really pretty intricate design. 
And this one right here says handmade for you. And these are, like I said, those are, they are super, super heavy. But there's an example of the card that they made with it. And they used the fleur de -lis. So, I picked those up. Then, at my husband's urging, because he thinks it will be helpful in organizing my craft room, I picked up one of these bad boys here. This was $12.99, and it has got, I'm sure you all have seen them there before. Sixteen of these little, like, photo box folders in it. And uh, what I intend on doing with it is using it for ephemera. So, oh, there we go. So, not too, too deep, but not real shallow either, so. Snap back in here now. I got it unsnapped. There we go. Definitely has a heck of a seal on there. So each one of them fits in their own little groove down in here. And then the box latch is shut. So then I thought clear would just be easier for me. They had one with lots of colored in it, but I just thought clear would be easier so I could see what I was looking at. Then I ordered some things off of Amazon. I went ahead and I've made several of the um, little pokey tools from offline, online that everybody's, pardon my hand, that everybody's kind of made. And I did use, for the first ones that I made, I did use the Hobby Lobby the pins from Hobby Lobby. So there's one of them that I made. Um, here's one that's not glued together yet, but it's all, I mean, it's essentially together. It just needs glued. And there she is. And then I've got this one here, which is kind of an odd array of colors, but I kind of like it for some reason. Reminds me of Mardi Gras just a little bit. I have made a couple of those, and I went ahead and picked up some of the turkey lacers off of Amazon to make those with as well. They are a little bit longer, but not by much. And then you've got this little loop up here at the top, which is a little bit bigger, and you could always put ribbon around this or according and it's also a great place to just hang a charm from so I did pick these up these came in a set of I believe there are 30 in here if I remember correctly there are 30 in here and they came in their own little case which I was happy for because those little things are sharp so then I saw somebody else doing some I love all of a sudden I love to play with beads I don't know what it is with me and beads. I think it's because they're colorful. But I saw somebody using these to make a charm for a tangle. And I thought, what a neat idea. So you take and you put a, you could also make earrings out of them, I'm sure. So you put a jump ring through that little bitty hole right up here. There's a little hole up here. the jump ring like on this and then you fold this backwards and it locks that jump ring in place. It also locks the beads in place because the beads just fit on the little wire. So that you just take this and fold it over with a little pair of pliers. Apparently I didn't get it in there all the way. So 
said to just, I mean, you can put beads on this and hang it from a dangle. It can be a cute little charm. So I thought those were kind of neat. So I did pick those up from Amazon. They came in gold and silver. And they weren't very expensive. I think they were like five or six dollars. They weren't really cheap. So then I did mention that I got something from AliExpress that I ordered. And oh my gosh, that package looked like it had been through a war zone. And when I opened it up, normally your die is not, you know, normally it's all together. It has those little bitty tiny metal pieces in between it. This die was completely broke apart. I was worried it was going to be bent. It was in bad shape. So this makes a chrysanthemum, I believe, and then another type of flower, some other flower that I'm not positive about. But this is your larger petal, your medium petal, and your smaller petal. And then it comes with two textured leaves. They've got a nice vein that shows up when you involve, when you um, die cut them. And then this is your second flower, and it comes with two pieces. So. I did not do anything with the second flower and I did not cut out the leaves. However, in just plain white, I did do the um, chrysanthemum. Kind of poke her back up here a little bit. Kind of. So that's kind of looking a little pitiful. Let's see here. There we go. And it looks like that if you can see that on that see I've got a piece of colored cardstock I can stick behind there because it might show up to the hair better that pink one up here on my desk oh wait that's kind of red oh there we go yeah it shows up better against that background so you've got all these teeny tiny little petals in there And it really didn't take much to shape it to get to get it to look really cute. So, and that is everything. This is what the other one looks like die cut. This is how big they are. So I figured I'd show those as well. And it would take several of those to, you know, make a real pretty flower. But it would it would work, and it would be really gorgeous if you made a flower like that. And like I said, they were super super easy to. Um, this is a tea stirrer, by the way. But these were super, super easy to, uh, and this is, an, I think I used 85 pound cardstock, not 65. But, like I said, they definitely are super, super easy to form. And will make a gorgeous flower when they're all together. Like I said, I just did the white ones. Um, and I don't have any fancy, fancy flower shaping tool. Let's see, this is as fancy as we get. I do have some balls like that, but other than that, this is as fancy as we get around here. I will say though, this little tea stirrer that I have. Comes in immensely handy. And there we go. So you put that one in the center. Granted, it needs lots more petals, but. You just stuck that one right there in the center. That would look so cute. It's the white. I should have used a different color. There we go. But white just happened to be what was sitting on my desk. So I think that it's a really adorable asset from AliExpress. It's really nice. So if you have any questions or comments about anything, leave them below. I'd love to chat with you guys. And I am going to hop off here for tonight and hopefully 
I will find some. I definitely have some more goodies coming in. I've got some things that I bought from HSN on craft day. One rather expensive one. <laughs> Hurt my soul. And then um, I've got a couple. I can't remember if I bought two things or three things. But either way, they're on their way. So, <laughs> And they should be here tomorrow. So when I get those, I will do a video. And then as soon as I figure out how to use it, I'll show you guys how it works. Because it's new and it's so neat. And I just had to have it because it's so neat. As a matter of fact, it's the only thing I've ever done an auto ship on through HSN. So, with that being said, I guess I'm going to hop off here. Oh, my other obsession. My husband picked me up the new Starbucks cup today. His, it looks like a carnival. That's what it reminds me of. So, and it's got the little... But I drink a protein coffee every morning, like protein, a protein shake and some espresso every morning. And so I drink one of these, even if I don't stop at Starbucks, I have drink, I make them at home. So I definitely use all my cups. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off here. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and look forward to the weekend. Today's Wednesday. <laughs> so with that being said, I will chat with you guys later. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check that little notification bell over there to the right hand side and that'll let you know each and every time i upload a new video well i guess i'll see you guys later thanks again for watching bye